Hi there, Clay here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into an upper body and core workout. Now for this workout, we aren't actually using any weights to push our upper body. What we are doing instead is we are doing a lot of work on our hands. So there are a lot of plank holds and downward dog positions. So for those of you who have any wrist issues, this is probably not the best workout for you. Now I do of course give you some breaks in there as well, but be prepared to be on your hands for a little bit. Now in terms of equipment, all you need is a comfy mat or a soft surface and of course your cells. So let's get into it shall we? Let's get it done. So let's begin on all fours and we're going to go for a little cat cow here. Inhale belly drops gazing to the sky and exhale press the floor away arching through the spine. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, press the floor away. Two more, inhale. Exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Nice, let's send our hips back and into a child pose. We're gonna ripple up through the spine and drop our hips down and lower all the way to the mat. Little inhale here to lift. Exhale down and press yourself back into that child pose. Let's flow this. So we ripple, drop down, little press. Go as high as feels comfortable and back you go. Good, two more. Drop in your own time. And one more. And back you go. Child pose for a little second here. And coming back up and on to all fours. Let's go for a nice spinal twist here, threading the needle. I'm gonna open up my right arm, inhale, gazing to the sky, and exhale, thread the needle through, coming down to the mat. And back up, big inhale. And exhale. Good, two more here. Exhale. Last one. And let's go to the other side, opening up, big breath. And inhale. Exhale. Two more. And last one. Good job. Coming back and on to all fours. Now let's tuck our toes and we're gonna hover our knees just off of the mat, drawing your belly button in. Now from here, we're gonna step our feet back into a plank position. Send your hips high to the sky, downward dog. Come back forwards into your plank. Step the feet back in to a hover. Other side, so we step back, back, downward dog. Come forwards, step in, in. Again, back, back, downward dog. Come forwards, in, in. Good, let's keep going. Our arms are gonna heat up here. Good. Good. 
keeping your belly button drawing in. We have two more. Last one. And bring your knees down for a little second. Give yourself a little breather. So we're gonna go back up onto all fours, tuck your toes and send your hips high to the sky, downward dog position. We're gonna go for a little combo here. So I'm lifting my right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. We're gonna bring it across to the opposite elbow, outside elbow and step back, downward dog. Other side, so left leg lifts up, Opposite elbow, outside elbow, step back. Good job, so we're alternating each time. Leg up, across and open and back. We have two more here. And last one. Nice work holding this downward dog position. We're gonna send our feet a little bit wider now. And we're gonna go for a little squat here and then press our body forwards into that plank position. Squat back and forwards, back and forwards. Good, go for four, three, two, and one. Good job, pop yourself down. Give those arms a little rest for a second. So, Let's come back up onto all fours. We're gonna do a moving plank. Now, if you want, you can do this on your knees or of course, up on your toes. We're gonna to go elbow down, down, press up, up, other side, down, down, up, up. So remember, you can be on your knees if you need. Whatever level you're at, you can do this. We have two more. Last one. Nice work holding this here. We're gonna go for some shoulder taps. So tapping opposite hand to opposite shoulder. And of course, up on your tippy toes is harder. Try not to rock those hips. Good, go for four, three, two and one come down give yourself a rest interlace those fingers into each other and do some little wrist circles there good job now we're going to come into a little bit of a tricep combo here so hands are in front you can do this on your toes it is a bit harder otherwise on your knees What's gonna happen? My elbows drop down towards the mat. From here, I'm gonna dive my shoulders over my hands and take the weight onto my hands, then press away. So my elbows drop back, dive forwards, press up. Let's see if I can do this on my toes. Elbows go back, dive forwards and up. Ooh, that's tricky. Elbows go down. Dive forward, pressing up. We've got four more. Elbows back, dive, and up. Three to go. Elbows, dive, and up. Don't let those hips sink down. Two to go. Elbows down, dive forwards, and up. Last one. 
down, dive, and up. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Yay. Good job. That one is a tricky one. So we're gonna come up onto our knees now. And if you need a little bit of extra cushioning, you can always fold that mat up and underneath those knees. So what's gonna happen? My hands are gonna come behind my head. I'm going to send my hips backwards and bow my body forwards and up. Good, dive forwards and up, nice and easy. Keep your chest proud and really squeezing your back in this position. Good, go for four. Three. Two. Now, little combo. We're gonna go down, reach over, stretch up. Does that make sense? Let's go again. So hips go back, reach the arms long, bend them back in and up. That makes a bit more sense. Back, stretch, there and up. Back, stretch, bend in and up. Good, let's go four. Really squeezing everything tight. Two more. Last one. Holding it here. Stretch the arms long and bent. Tummies are tight. Four. Three, two, one. Good job, reach the arms behind you. Let's pulse them up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, holding it here. We're gonna bend and tap our thumbs to our shoulders and back, tap and back. Good, go for four, three, two and last one good job <sighs> now let's rotate to face the front coming back up onto your knees remember extra cushioning fold up that mat we're going to extend one leg beside us now my hands are going to come behind my head we're going to do a little combo here so i'm going to come down as far as i can and then reach for the mat, reach the arm over the head, elbow to knee, bend, stretch, and then we're gonna come all the way back up. Good, so go as far as you can, and then reach for the mat, arm over the head, bend, stretch, reach, 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 and up, good. This is three. Here you go. Oh. Good, four more here. Three. Go two to go. Good job. So we're gonna go straight onto the other side. Setting yourself upright, hands come behind your head. We go as far as you can go. Reach for the mat, arm over the head, bend and stretch. And Good. Down we go. Reach. Nice. 
moving like we're moving between two planes of glass. Good, four more. So we're really working our side body here. Good. Two more. Last one. Nice work. Let's come on to our butt cheeks. We're gonna scooch to the top of the mat. Let's do a little bit more abs here. So, sitting up nice and tall here. Let's go for my favorite move. We're going for some C curves. So, nice and tall, big inhale here. Reach the arms long. Exhale, draw your belly button in. Initiate for the belly button. Curve through the lower back. Coming back halfway. Keeping that gaze nice and long. And then we come up. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And up. Good. We go for three. And two. Last one. And come to the back. Pulse it back. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hands come in. Rotate for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, reach the arms long, pulse back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands come back in, rotate for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up, give yourself a rest. We are looking good here. Okay, sitting up nice and tall again. Feet come back onto the mat. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring ourselves on an angle. We're gonna bring our elbows down to the mat. So I'm keeping a nice long spine here. I'm not letting this happen, sinking into my shoulders, and I'm not letting this happen. My body tilt down. So we wanna keep this posture the whole time. If at any time this becomes too much, you can lie completely flat on your back and just turn this into more of like your toe tap action happening. So from here, we are pulling our belly buttons in, lifting one leg up to tabletop and the other one joins. Inhale, tap the foot down, back to center, exhale. Inhale, tap and back. Good, go for four. Nice and easy. Go two, one. Let's straighten those legs now. We go stretch back in. Good, go for four, three, two, one. Nice work, we're gonna stretch the legs straight back in. Here, go for four, three, two, ooh, one. This time, legs drop to the side, back to center. Up the side and center. Good, go for four, three, two, one little combo here, we're gonna go to the side. Stretch, back up and down. We go side, stretch, up and down. Good. Four, 
Four more. Don't sink into those shoulders. Last two. And one. Good job, come up to the top, hug your knees in and try to balance here without your toes touching the mat. We are gonna go for some rock and rollers here. So inhale here, exhale, tuck your chin. We're gonna roll just to our shoulders, not onto your neck, and then catch yourself at the top. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, catch. Good, exhale. And catch. Nice. If you want a little challenge, lift those legs to tabletop, reach those arms along. Oh. <laughs> Two more. Last one. And hold yourself at the top here. Reach those arms along. Hold, hold, hold. Four, three, two. Now low boat pose. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them in. Come to your back. <sighs> Good job. Let's just do a little bit of a stretch here now. Let your knees sit wide and let them drop out to the side. Just let them relax here for a moment. Nice big breath. and pop your feet to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest here. Let's let the knees drop to one side, opening up across the body. A little spinal twist. And coming back to center. Let's go to the other side. Circle the knees one way and reversing it to the other. Pop your feet to the mat, flip your hips to one side and turn yourself onto the side. Come back up onto all fours. We'll go for a little cat cow here again. Big inhale, belly button drops, gaze into the sky. Exhale, press the floor away. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. And then a little rotation from side to side here. And find yourself in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. Let's go for a little bit of stretching of the arms, reaching one arm across the body, grabbing up and around for a little stretch through the shoulders there. And you can flip your palm to face the front as well, which hits a different part of your shoulder. And let's pop that over the top for a little tricep stretch. Beautiful, release that. Let's go to the other side. Flip the palm to face the front. Get a different part of the shoulder. And up and over the top, triceps. Releasing that, let's reach your opposite arm to your opposite knee. And a little rotation here, exhale. Keeping the spine nice and long. On your exhale, releasing that and going to the other side. Yeah, 
and exhale back to center. Let's go for our side bend. And tumbling over to the other side. Back to center. Let's take a breath to the top. Join the hands into heart center. Exhale. And you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me this week for that upper body and abs Pilates workout. Now, I hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I did. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend or family member who you think would like this workout and please, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it does support my channel and I do post new videos and workouts every week. Thank you so much for coming and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.